Is Somerville worth our time? We're about to find out. Welcome everyone to episode 161 of One Hour One Decision, One H One D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide, well, Tom, is there enough orange in our life? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? (laughs) Dang it. I set myself up for that. We are talking about Somerville, developed by Jump Ship. And this game came out in November of 2022. As usual, play this on the PC. 10.04 10.04 gigabytes on the PC. Tom, what about you? It was 10.2 gigabytes on the Xbox Series S. Okay, bad. it's very little, pretty, cl- pretty close, really. Close, close. I'll give them, I'll give Jump Ship their uh, credit. Where credit yeah, is. you won't make them jump ship. No, we're not jumping ship on that. Not jumping ship on this game yet. But what kind of game is this? Tom? I put very simply, third person adventure. Okay, yeah, that was probably the the smarter move here. Uh-oh. I just put third story driven 3D side scroller. All of those things are true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say I say side scroller. I'll say that in air quotes because you you are going left and right, but you're also kind of going uh, yeah. in and out. Of the there's world. there's a, there's a another there's dimension. A, yeah, yeah, there sure is. And what else there is here is that game loop. And what is that <sighs> game? Uh, speaking of other dimensions, uh, use light and alien power to dissolve obstacles in your path and avoid being captured. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I put go left, right, up the screen and solve environmental puzzles to progress the story. And what I would allude to, or I allude to at the beginning of this uh, episode also is you're essentially also looking for the orange thing to interact with. But- yes. Yes, that is true. But yes. Now let's get into those things that we liked about this game, Tom. What do we like? Uh, There there aren't a whole lot of fruit references. No, that's not one of mine. Uh, uh, I really liked that opening cinematic credits sequence. I think it like segues into the game really well. Um, I like when games do that well, where where you're just kind of brought into the game and You know, especially if it's going to be very story driven, like do it like a movie, right? Like, yeah, um, definitely, definitely had that cinematic, very, like, I think throughout the playthrough, this game had a very cinematic feel. And I liked also, I like that they did that, but also still felt like a game. I don't know how else to explain it because like, you know, with the, with the movie, you're kind of this person that's observing, right? Whereas in a game, like you're, you're actually doing something, you're, you're involved and like, I think they did a good job, even just using like the force feedback in my controller and stuff like that. It all like, came together, I thought, pretty well. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, you're 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 definitely right about that. I think the scene transitions were handled yeah. well. Yeah, you know, moving from you know one scene to the next, it it made sense. It worked. Uh, I, I'm just impressed with the storytelling overall in this. Yeah, because like I've one of the things I wrote down here. They were able to set the tone and the stakes without having any dialogue. Right, right. Like that's impressive. It seems like yeah, it's it's. I'm I'm in really impressed that I was told a story without any words. Yeah. How do you tell a story without words? Well, these guys figured it out. Yeah. I mean, I, unless they they took a book from uh, our dear friend Jendi Tartakovsky or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's true. Uh, they they they. I think they did a great job of setting, like you said, setting the scene. And yeah, you, you really only hear maybe grunts from people and so, like shock and maybe some cries, uh, but but that that was about it. And, and yeah, you you really, you, I mean, just to set the scene a little bit, you are <clears throat> you start off as a family, a, a small little nuclear family, a uh, parent, two uh, parent, husband and wife with their little child, a toddler and a dog, and you're just coming back home one day. The parents go to sleep, and you kind of put this up. Um, I can kind of put this as my as like a dislike you, in a way. You but, could go either way. Well, yeah. I'll say that I liked that you play as this toddler. Yeah, the the, the games you, you start off playing as the toddler, and um, you know, kind of toddling along in the in the world. And as you see, like there's this there's something out there that is causing a ruckus, and you're seeing it through the eyes of this child, and 
yeah, it, it was just, I thought it was just like a very well done uh, intro to this, to this world. It set you up really well. And yeah, I, I mean, I just, I think overall, this is another game 2022. Okay. It's, 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 it's kind of far back, but not too far back in this way. But but another game, another game where it's it picked an art style and stuck with it, and it looks really good for what it is. Yeah, and yeah. I think it will look very good into the future. Like absolutely, again, yeah. you know, it's stylized for sure. Right, right, and it was and it was a good style. Like it, it could have been a crappy style. Let's be honest, but yes, it, yes. They, did, they did a good job of what they what they picked. I, I almost felt like the way I described it almost was kind of like a paper mache or something like, like just like, yeah i don't know it's something weird like that but, but it's very flat flat colors like very flat color schemes stuff like that um and, and yeah so uh, yeah and i thought the the game also very simple controls very simple controls yeah you're you obviously have your move, movement um you know with the joystick and as you progress later on in the game there's you have now a an ability that the, the father gets yes that you wake up to and you're like what the heck is going on because uh, I don't know how much of a spoiler this is, but your family, like you, your family essentially gets abducted, I get uh, from, and, and you have this power that you can manipulate these, like you, like you mentioned uh, obstacles, these like, yes. that are kind of like uh, highlighted in red and your power is kind of like a bluish tint. I don't know. So it, there's a lot of mystery in this game. And I, I feel, I also felt like there's a sense of dread in this game yeah so that's that's uh you know again uh it's very impressive what they're able to do with how little dialogue there is but like you know great audio great art and like, yeah. just great set pieces i think so. so what else did you like about this uh i liked you know you touched on it earlier that it's able to tell you like where you need to go and what you need to do without you know without an arrow without dialogue um there is a path and the path is orange <laughs> Uh, yeah. It reminds me of like Uncharted or some of these games where it's like, oh, that piece of the environment is an interactable because it's a certain color. Right. That's where I'm supposed to go or that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, so once I once I once I figured that out, too, I was just looking for that <laughs> that color somewhere. And I was I was trying to interact with whatever the object is. You mentioned the the dog and there's there are other friends. there. Yeah, I I do like so. Obviously, you touched on it that this man has suffered a terrible loss uh, right at the beginning of this game. His wife and his child are missing. Uh, But fortunately, the dog is there with him. Uh, So you have uh, a companion uh, that's walking through the world with you. And then pretty soon you meet some other companions in the form of presumably friendly alien something. I don't know if they're creatures or tech or what, but... It's some they sort of like, you. they're like, they're like little balls of light. Well, well, yeah, like their faces are light and like, they just kind of roll around following you, like, I guess, because of that power that you have, they're just attracted to it or something. So yeah, they, they definitely help you with um, taking away a lot of those, those obstacles for you. Yes. So, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, what else did I say here? I also thought, yeah, I thought that the effects were cool with like speaking of that arm and the the power that you do. So like uh, the idea is like if you interact with something that has light, your arm kind of amplifies that light and causes these obstacles to essentially fade away. Or yeah, whatever. like dissolve. Dissolve. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> It kind of it kind of reminded me uh, of in a way those who remain and an Alan Wake where you're de- using light as a way to cleanse your world yes. in, a, in a sense. So so yeah, another Al- another Alan Wake kind of uh, thing that was that was brought up here. But maybe, maybe but yeah. all these people were inspired by it. I don't know. Possibly, possibly. So um, yeah, cool. So anything else here you want to talk on, uh, touch on, or uh, I I'm ready to move on, Chris. Unless you have. No, uh, I, I'm well, I will. I will just quickly with our dislikes here. I will quickly kind of jump back to the toddler portion here where sure. I while it was cool, I, I I kind of appreciate it. I appreciate it. But in this particular instance, it was like I was sitting around for like a good two minutes expecting something to happen. Yes. And then I just realized like, oh, now it's my turn to play. Yes. Uh, I feel like a lot of times even like um uh, Greece did this, but I think they did a little bit better in that, like, you know, the, the black bars kind of came down to show that this was kind of like a cinematic moment. And then when you were ready to play, those black bars kind of rise up and then you're like, okay, now it's your turn. And 
I wish that just some sort of significance there yeah. would have been helpful. I'm 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 nitpicking, but it was like that was Yeah, that was the, just... the the communication that the game had begun wasn't really there. Right. But because like the rest of the game, like I mean, we just talked about it. like the the way that the story is being told overall is is pretty clear without any dialogue. So it's kind yeah. of like a I don't know, odd that they didn't figure that part out where it's like now it's your turn to play versus, you know, giving to be f- to be fair, yeah. As as people who play a lot of video games, right? I think intuitively we would not think that we're going to play as the baby. Yeah, that too. That too. So so there is a level of like, okay, the baby. What's the baby? The baby's going to go get into trouble. Yeah. Like you're not thinking I'm going to be the one who's going to put the baby into trouble. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 That's fair. That's fair. Um, which I guess is kind of a good surprise. Uh, and this game, like we talked about, is is is. Uh, dealing with going through obstacles and stuff like that. So essentially scenes are puzzles, right? You're trying to figure it out. Yeah. But I felt like the puzzles in this game didn't make me f- get those aha moments like we had in Cocoon and yeah. in other games that we've we've uh, kind of played through this, uh, through this show. I feel like a lot of times it was just me like, slapping my head like oh my god that was how you figured this out like it was Uh just a lot of frustration with the puzzle designs i I would say but i don't know how you felt no no i i I agree with you like i put down no clear directions on what i should be doing so Mm -hmm. like while eventually you get the kind of like the go to the orange kind of you start to figure that out like before that it's not really clear a lot of the times you know there's there's no like oh i've got to get this key Oh, I got to get outside. Yeah. Like the guy's not even talking to himself. So, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're, you're just kind of fumbling around in the dark. And some of that, when I was doing it, like you could wander off frame, like out of frame of where, mm. what the camera's looking at. Um, it just, it feels like they're like, I want to tell a story. And then oh, also there's a game here. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was actually just going to point that out. Like, I think they did a great job with the story direction, but then the game direction part of it was kind of wishy washy. Like, yeah, they they just they just threw these slapped these puzzles together just to be like, okay, well, we need to make this somewhat interactive. Interactive. So, right, let's let's do this. But, but yeah, um, so I think that's kind of a missed opportunity, especially you know, again, kind of going back to Cocoon, like just having those layers and like you have this light power like i feel like there could have been some really cool puzzles. maybe and maybe there are maybe there are cooler puzzles down the line but uh you know uh the the, the at least the ones that we've tried so at least the ones yeah, i've tried yeah. so far in that first like, hour yeah eh. I don't uh i, I don't know I, did you have problems with the controls at all controls um i thought it was i okay. found them kind of finicky finicky in what in what sense I don't know. They felt like inconsistent in their application, mm. I, I guess it was what okay. I put. Okay. I could see that. Yes. And in fact, uh, yeah, there, there were several times where I was thinking like, why did it work this way? This and like time. certain, certain, yeah. And like certain objects that you, you interact with one time, like now become interactable. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. Like there was, there was that inconsistency that I did not like as well. Uh, yeah, that that was that was unfortunate because, uh, like again, <laughs> going back to the art and story direction here, they do a good job of of laying that stuff yeah. out. But then, yeah. you know, it's what what do you do? What do you do with that? Like, if you're if you're not going to be consistent, um, what else do you got here? Uh, I got stuck in the geometry a couple oh. of times. Like, I experienced some legitimate bugs. Oh. I mean, it 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 does feel like it was made by a small team, so this sort of stuff is liable to happen you know um i I also just because it's like the blessing and the curse right because there isn't uh dialogue Mm -hmm. uh it's not always clear like i wrote is my job to melt all the alien (laughs) technology yeah if so why like like i I understand that i'm trying to find my wife and my kid and i guess the stuff's in the way yeah but i don't know like I, i wish that that was better communicated yeah, I guess um, it's interesting because maybe they thought that th- that that motivation of finding your family would be strong enough. But I feel like there's so much stuff that happens, even in that first hour, stuff that happens where you're just like, "What is going on?" Like, and you and you do see people in the world too, like, but they all run away, so you don't yeah. even get to talk to them. And it's like, okay, what's all right, that's that's kind of annoying. And one thing I was just talking about, uh, thinking about going back to your controls issue. 
I just wish there was a run button a lot of times. Mm, yeah. Because I, you know, your character kind of just can be a little bit of a slog. Um, yeah. Yeah. Dragging his feet. Yeah. Hurry up. You got a family to go find. Yeah. Yeah. They had no real sense of urgency at times. And oh my God, there was one puzzle that I got to. What was it? It was the water pail one that okay. I was on for quite some time. And I was like really frustrated about it. But yeah, it was like, it was so bad. Uh, like a, a lot of times for me, I felt like every scenario, it came down to me finding that orange thing and interacting with it. Finding that and then just, you know, figuring out what to do from there. Yeah. So that was, you know, again, just kind of frustrated. Kind of find the win button. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So I was like, I don't know. Like this game had us a lot of potential, and that's I think where yeah. it fall. I won't. I won't say it's as bad as you know, Last Case of Benedict Fox. Right. I feel like. I feel like this is a bit more polished. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, it, it could be better. That's all. So, like, yeah. So, um, what else? What else you got here? Or shall we move on to our other thoughts? I'm. I'm ready to move on. All right. Well, how long to beat? It does say this game takes about three hours hey look at us 33 oh. percent done yeah so not too bad uh, i mean mine might be a little bit longer i don't know how long you got <laughs> but yeah but this game does have xbox cloud saves cross saves and is x cloud compatible so it's got all that all that in there so that's great what you got tom what other thoughts you got here? okay so it is important to note this is the debut title of this developer um their previous work uh, w w they worked on uh, Limbo and Inside uh, okay, that's under talented. under under pre under a previous you know as part of a previous development studio. Played then yep. uh, yeah, then spun off and became uh, to build his own. You know, to twenty seventeen. Play dead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe there's something there. Yeah. Uh, but I guess the inception of this game goes all the way back to twenty fourteen. Oh, wow. Um, so I guess he had this idea kicking around in his head. It just wasn't maybe the right fit for the old, you know, old development studio. Mm -hmm. Got to the point where he felt like he was ready to go and jumped ship. <laughs> cool. But yeah, if you if you feel some of that like limbo inside DNA. Yeah. Yeah. That there's a reason for it. And those are both really well received games. So they I are. would imagine they... if you liked those games, you probably should give this one a shot. Well, there was a lot of hype. For this game when it got announced because it was the developers of side and but i feel like at least I, some segment of it yeah and so and i think those people that played that game might have been a little bit disappointed with this game because of certain things that we just talked about where the puzzles yeah. and stuff like that were just not as uh not not insane. on that level yeah not as expertly crafted. and i think even the developers from cocoon uh or am i missed it. did they work on inside or limbo I don't recall. Anyway, it's fine. But um, but yeah, those are those are some thoughts here. And now are, we're ready to talk about our final final decision here, huh, Tom? Yes. Would you like to go first, or shall I? Well, I guess we need to find. Well, I'm going to be keeping this on our respective hard drives. So yeah, I I can go first. I mean, quite simply, this this game is only three hours. Story was intriguing enough that I think I might see it to the end. It's a it's a Lord of the Lord of the Rings movie length. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not director's so, cut, just the regular. Yeah. yeah, no, you could you could finish this in the amount of time it would take you to sit down and watch Return of the King. Yeah, there you go. So I think I, I think I'll at least see this at the end because, uh, like I said, the story was intriguing enough. I think that that, that I want to know what what happens. Does this guy get his family, or will he be crushed by this <sighs> alien? I don't Man, I really hope he does get his family back. <laughs> um, I am likewise, Chris, intrigued to continue. Uh, I wrote down if it's not too long, yeah. three hours isn't too long. So you know, now that I know that, um, I will concede though mm -hmm. that I'm nervous that I'm going to get stuck at some point. Yeah, and then going online looking for hints to try to like a walkthrough for this um, would ruin the. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. could so easily ruin the game. 100%. 100%. And then I would it would murder my interest in continuing. <laughs> yeah. I could so see I'd that. have to I'd have I'd have to be very careful if I got stuck because mm -hmm. yeah. the mere act of looking for the solution to that puzzle may spoil the whole game. Right, right. I mean, I've I've played well, I've been like if I if I do do that now, I tend to go on like YouTube and like, you know, most some of these some of these guys that do like ah. the long walkthroughs. Yeah, they'll they'll 
they'll break it up so you don't have to see the full ending. Ah, uh, good idea. Yeah, yeah. So cool. So those are our thoughts. Let us know what you think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at TC1H1D or shoot us an email at TC1H1D at Outlook.com. And, uh, you know, we, we play these games on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 1H1D. Check us out when we go on, go live there. And, um, you know, we do put these put these on uh, on YouTube. So send us a comment down below. Say if you really enjoyed it, if it's worth the time to go past the hour. I mean, we think it is. I mean, two more hours. I mean, what what what, what are you doing in two hours? I don't know. Yeah. So uh, and 1H1D is part of that QTB network. So if you like any kind of fantastic gaming content check it all out at quitthebill.com slash network you know what they could do chris what else with two hours is they could listen to four episodes of the show (laughs) i mean if you really want to you know i mean we appreciate every and every 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 listen you do so and and every watch too yeah thanks thanks for that and um but now tom we do yes find out Yes, it's an important part of the process. It really is, and so is that surprise me button. So, surprise me button, tell us what we're doing next. Here we go. All right. Yes. Stranded Deep. I am unfamiliar. Me too. Me too. But uh, we'll, we're, we'll, we'll find out. It seems kind it's of the beauty, survival-ish. the beauty of the Game Pass and the surprise me button is it we really, get surprised. It really is. Hopefully, we'll be surprised in a positive way, like we did this episode. So, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this episode, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye.